Hi, hello. We are currently in my freezer where I have various deceased animals held captive in airtight bags. I've interacted with plenty of vegans. They've all been the extremist type, usually on some sort of rant about the grand conversion to veganism. Vegan booty is under my butcher's knife today, uh, as well as the dinner that I had earlier. This woman is such a character. I'd like to sincerely write a letter to YouTube thanking them for bestowing this hidden gem upon my homepage. Naked went or swimming at the beach. Why wouldn't I want to see that? You know, before I watched her videos, I was very blind to how the world should be. Vegan and naked. Everyone should resort to eating berries and stepping on shards of glass. I mean, to say that I've watched her videos is almost like a compliment. What I mean to say is that I've witnessed them. It's the more appropriate term since her videos are closer related to a disorganized crime scene than YouTube content. Vegans take a dead lamb into coals and it's filmed entirely vertical. I know you're malnourished and your brain is hardening from the lack of vitamins, but it's just one flip. Because Holocaust. Is there any other term that you could have used? The description just gets worse. She's referring to uh, farms as slave properties and concentration camps. Vegan clan clothing. She has to know the reputation of the words that she's using. There's no way that she's this tone deaf. Now what I really want to show you are her street interviews. Similar to Caitlin Bennett, she just kind of runs up and shoves the camera into the face of whoever is within the four foot radius. Teens eat chicken in front of vegan. Taking someone's life is murder, wouldn't you agree? Wait, 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 just a moment. You think cows, pigs, chickens are an object? They're not no, someone. I never said they were an object. You said, well, you just said, said they're they some were an animal. I never said they were some, you, someone. You said they're not someone, someone they're something. As a human, something. No, no, someone is any individual, whether someone it be a dog, a human, a cow, a chicken, someone or a pig. Is individual. They all, yeah, they all have a brain, they're all people. She just said that animals are people. Her argument that animals have brains, which means that they should automatically be considered people, holds no weight at all. Humans are the only animals that are considered people because we are intelligently established above others. People like this have funerals for the ants that they step on in the street. Equating a human's life with an animal's life is just so out of touch. Do you have a dog? Do you have a pet dog? Yes, I have a companion what dog. What kind of dog? He's a Jack Russell. Uh, how much did you pay for that? She's getting showed up and debated right now by a kid. Does she not know that she can like edit out when she's wrong? I mean, you have complete authority over what goes on your channel and you still let yourself look stupid. It's honestly just a vegan Caitlyn Bennett. The only difference is that Caitlyn's shits probably come out solid. This kid then asks what her job is and she says that she's an activist, um, AKA I dress up as a cow and my mom pays my bills. He then asked her what she would do for a job if everyone was vegan. Everyone treat animals, what's your job then? Um, probably have an animal sanctuary where I'd live happily and with so animals. You would live happily with animals? Great, okay. Uh, now, tell me what those animals eat. A lot of vegans I've had the displeasure of speaking with uh, can't really wrap their head around the fact that some animals are carnivores and eat meat and strictly meat. They either fight me back with saying that they just force the animal to be vegan anyways, or it's okay for the animal to eat meat. If we break those two answers down, we either get, uh, I want my dog to hate me and I don't really care if it's unhappy, or we get, humans aren't allowed to eat meat, but my animal can. Vegan fed cats are proven to always be sick and they die every day from malnourishment and cardiomyopathy, which is just a big fancy way of saying you starved your cat and it didn't receive taurine. I'd love to see how she feels about reptiles and their eating habits. You know what happened if I tried to feed this guy lettuce? He dodged lettuce, jumped straight from my finger and drained every last drop of blood out of my body. How about, how about free range? That's a con. It's a marketing lie. It's a lie. If someone's living a happy life and then you murder them, does that justify it? This is something I can actually agree with to an extent. Free range animals are still killed, which is terrible if you're a vegan extremist like this one here. It barely does anything for the animal. It's still killed. Also, a lot of farms lie and just throw the sticker on there for market value. Not her, but another vegan online, which I forget the name of, said that all farmers should just let the animals die of a natural death in like old age. Um, and that's the only way that she'd feel comfortable consuming the animal product, which is just the stupidest fucking take. If you don't know, animals are usually killed off younger because the older ones carry parasites uh, because of their weak immune systems and just like harmful toxins in general, and that'll probably kill you if ingested. Uh, so, so how do you feel when people eat chicken? I feel sad. I see a baby. I see someone eating a baby. Chickens are only six weeks old. So, so this makes you sad? Yes, because that is a six week old baby. So like, if I do this? Yeah. You're eating a baby. That's so embarrassing for her. She just looked at a piece of chicken and called it a baby. And to top it off, she's painted like a cow in the middle of a city wearing no shirt. Thank God Crystal Meth is vegan because that's the only thing she's consuming. Teens offer KFC to a vegan. Baby? Yeah. What's baby? That's a baby. Did you? 
Chickens are only six weeks old when they're sent to slaughterhouses and then they have their throat slit. I hate this chicken fact she's spewing everywhere. She said it in the last video too. A chicken's lifespan is about like five-ish years, I think. So like if you're gonna hold them to the same amount of importance as a human, you have to make the ages accurate. Some people, when they hear a chicken is being killed at six weeks, which I don't really know where they would be hearing that. A human lives on average about like eight years opposed to a chicken, which only lives five. So a chicken at six weeks is pretty grown compared to a human child, which would be an infant at six weeks. If I gave you a baby, a live baby chicken, what, what do you think your first reaction would be? Again, it's crystal meth, I'm telling you. What answer is she hoping for here? If a chicken was placed upon my hands and you looked at me and you said, what do you think about it? I would tell you it was a fucking chicken. Oh yeah, because whenever I'm near animals, I actually get this urge, like a caveman instinct, to actually gravitate towards them, hold them just like this, um, and kind of just like- <coughs> Does she think people who aren't vegans have this bloodlust like thirst that they have to feed into? Like I'm a vampire hunting my next meal? Okay, I want to see her naked. I mean, uh, yeah, I, I want to see her naked. Naked when her swimming at the beach. <laughs> Oh, that dog, that poor, unhappy vegan dog. I just know that scruffy thing has the least viscous shits on this planet. He's never felt a solid thing come out of that asshole. Just crushed up chickpeas. She drives down to the beach and then talks about how her dog is uh, amazing at surfing. And then, uh... Yeah. Since it was a public beach, she saw people walking there, which for some reason almost surprised her. So she ran to hide really quickly. Um, does she not know that this is going to be posted on YouTube? A public platform? <laughs> Alright, Monty, do that again. That was so cute. Monty, sit. She runs into the ocean while 2017 dubstep is playing in the background. And then, after a few minutes, she comes out. Who edits these? Her dog just gagged after witnessing her naked body. He looks directly at her and then starts regurgitating the lettuce he ate earlier. I don't understand how YouTube lets us stay up. I just saw the entryway into her ass. Hey guys, today I'm naked and I represent the cows. Um, and I'm actually going to be teaching you how to braid your pubes. All right, everyone, whip it out. This woman goes to protest often where she films the behind the scenes and I've never wanted to vomit more in my life than when I watched this. Naked vegan paints herself in period blood. Yup, I just know that shit reeks of metallic. She's naked, so I can't show the first part, but she's just painting herself pink before putting on fake blood. Um, and then she whips out this very aged looking jar of her period blood. I do have a collection of my period blood. My God, don't fucking zoom in, you creep. But sometimes you do get like big clots of blood. And I was kind of hoping for that, but it's literally just slipping like jelly. Please God. I did- I'm just gonna go back to TikTok commentary. It's like, a uh, aged cheese with rust. I don't know how much of this is gonna, like, be blurred out, but that was criminal. One particle of that in the city's water supply and the population drops. Okay, so I found her link tree and I have a few questions. One of the main ones being, what's the need for three different OnlyFans? Is it, like, a scheme to veganism conversion? Like, I- like, I buy the first one and you just show me a bunch of photos of dead animals. I- I get the second one and you teach me how to make spells out of my period blood and I get the third one and it's just- Black Mirror episode one. How to go vegan? We're skipping that. I don't care. Go fund me for legal fees. Help fight charges for animal rights activists. Animal rights activist Tosh Peterson disrupted a Louis Vuitton store. She was topless and painted her chest with blood to represent the brutal murder of animals in these industries. A few days later after the protest, the anti-terrorism police came to her house and issued a summons charge of disorderly conduct due to the protest. Yeah, I wonder why. You can't just run into a high class shop naked, screaming and covered in blood and expect them not to charge you. Yeah, I'm gonna go to SeaWorld and pour gasoline in all of the tanks. That'll show them. The three activists have all pled not guilty. What a warped perception of reality. They must have eaten the E. coli lettuce. This mentions she's friends with a guy named Arkadius Svenbodinzinski. And with a Marvel villain-ass name like that, you had to have done something. I looked and I found an article. He stole a cow off a farm. He picked it up and he just left. While this was occurring, he said, and I quote, um, the animal holocaust has to end. I'm almost jealous of the way vegan extremists operate. It's like they've never left the childlike vivid imagination stage. They live permanently within the MCU. Vegan teacher and vegan booty go topless on a live stream. I haven't watched this yet, but if I see one saggy old Canadian titty on my screen, I'm gonna have to go slaughter my pets. Thought you were gonna be topless in this one. Very disappointed. <laughs>
na 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 we're going topless if it'll make you go vegan <laughs> uh no actually i'm going to hire hitman to take myself out um which wouldn't be very vegan is this her trying to be seductive because i now understand why she was divorced report hurry report us well not exactly sure how this correlates to veganism but please treat me how they do with animals on farms because i don't want to live any longer i can't believe i have to do a fucking ad read after that oh. sizzle popcorn <gasps> what's this you may ask only the best popcorn in the world. It's light, airy, and crunchy, and they also have vegan options. Head over to Sizzle Popcorn's website using the link in my description and use code CYBER, all caps, for 10% off. Anyways, I've had enough psychological torment. Um, I'll be in here eating freshly cut cows. I think the government should invest in vegans as weapons for interrogations because I would instantly fold. Bye.